Welcome back gamers, I'm Danny from the Nintendo K channel. Today I have the really cool two Zelda items, first of which is the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Explorers Edition. It does include two uh, specific items in this bundle, that is the Explorers Guide and a, a really cool map. And of course I have the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D 2DS and it includes a pre-installed copy of the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time itself, the classic from Nintendo 64, but of course they remade it for the 3DS, so it's included in this bundle. So I'm really excited to have these two fantastic Zelda items and these are the best games of the Zelda franchise in my opinion. Of course The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is a game of the year contender for Nintendo Switch, a fantastic open world venture and of course looking back in 1998 with Ocarina of Time that brought Zelda the franchise into 3D for the first time on the Nintendo 64 and I played it back in 1998 it really is a close to my heart because it really uh, define the genre and to this day is one of my favorite games of all time. So I'm going to go through the unboxing of these two items. I'm going to start off with the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time uh, 3, 2DS here. So it's going to be really exciting to see what it's all about. But give you a close look at it. We have a really awesome artwork of Link looking really badass. Uh, we have uh, the actual system itself here and this really interesting green tone and, and of course this uh, gold tint on the button so really neat if you guys don't know this is the one piece it doesn't it's not a clamshell design so it's really interesting to see this is my first system to have in the original 2ds style so i'm gonna open this up but before i actually look in the back see what the the box is about they'll give you a little bit more of a look of the system and i really love this artwork of link here it really is the original 1998 artwork of uh Acronia of time and they tell you the best of two worlds so obviously or portability and also this uh, Ocarina of Time. What more can you ask, right? All right, so I'm gonna open this up, see what this is all about, and I'm excited. Pulling it out. Ah, so you're greeted to uh, the AR cards. It's good to see that Nintendo still offers the AR cards for uh, people who are uh, buying uh, new systems today. Um, it, it is originally released on the original first generation of 3DS system, so pretty cool. You got the manual as well, so if you don't know how to use the system, that's the way to go. You have the AC adapter, very important. Um, good thing that Nintendo did include it because the new Nintendo 3DS XL does not include one, so you have to buy separately, but this one has everything you need to start things off. And I can see the system right away, so I'm going to open it up on this side here. Ah, pretty cool. I'm liking this already. It, it's it's a really nice green actually. I, I, if you guys don't know, besides gold, I do like green. It's a it's a, like a nature color and uh, Ocarina of Time and uh, uh, the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is all nature based, right? So really nice. I like the fact that it's uh, two screens right there. It's, it's very solid. It's actually very comfortable. Um, very comfortable that uh, you can just hold and play with it in any situation. And flipping to the back, you can see the they have this brown uh, kind of uh, tint there, right? A line across. And this is where you have on the, on the side here is the actual stylus. And this is the SD card slot. The, uh, the shoulder buttons are on top here. The game card slot is right up here. The IR uh, sensor is here, and this is also where you plug in to charge with the AC adapter. Pretty simple. The home button is here on the bottom, and everything feels really solid. I like the fact that this have a little dedicated sleep button. Oh, really interesting. I haven't seen this in any previous 3DS model, so nice to have that right there. They have uh, the headphone jack right on the, on the bottom left here. So actually what's cool is what's neat is they actually have a little uh, strap uh, holder here. You can kind of, uh, like a foam strap, you can put it there. That's very unique in Japan. I know that a lot of uh, 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 teenagers and, and uh, adults actually, they usually have a foam strap here that they put there to so customize the system. So nice to know that they have that included. Uh, this is a volume rocker right here. All right, so pretty, pretty neat. I'm loving this. This is a really nice, solid piece of hardware. Really comfortable to hold, and can, I actually can feel that you can play this for long periods of time. So pretty, pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put that to the side for now, and now we have the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 
um, Explorers Edition. So this is actually a Black Friday deal that they, it's still actually, I noticed that it's still available. So if you guys are interested in, in any of these items, actually they are available right now, but as of the recording of this episode. So I'm gonna open this up right away. So this time I'm gonna do it from the bottom because I, I noticed that the flap was already kind of open. All right, so you can see right from the start, you have the game. This is what's neat is if you if you have the Legends of Rough the Wild already, this one the case is a little different. I noticed that before when I when I kind of saw it, uh, people kind of showing to me a little bit. And the back is actually not the retail one. This is actually a non for resale k uh, cover. So it's really nice to see that Link is obviously on one side and uh, and the Guardian is on the other. It looks it's very continuous, looking really nice with the artwork. I love in this. This is a beautiful artwork, and it's actually a variant from the the game that was released from the start of the uh, the start of the Nintendo Switch. All right, so we got the uh, the Explorers Guide, but before that, I want to show you guys the actual map. This is really cool. This is my first time seeing the map, actually. Wow, this is awesome. You have the actual Great Plateau and also uh, Mount Helia, different uh, out lo locales of the actual Hyrule Kingdom here. Fantastic. My goodness, it actually tells you the, uh, the elevations of the, the mountain regions here, so... Uh, if you guys know topography, this will actually kind of give you the idea. And this is another view of entire Hyrule, looking really, really cool. And the the actual the texture of the the, the map is actually doesn't feel like paper. It's like kind of uh, semi plastic, I say. Uh, so it's really uh, nothing that you can just say uh, will just damage it if you hold, you know you just touched it really briefly. And it's actually very high quality. I love this. This is a fantastic map included in this uh, Explorers Edition. The next thing is the actual Explorer's Guide. This is actually pretty, um, pretty lengthy. Actually, it's a it's a nice book, pretty high quality. I love the artwork. This is something I haven't seen yet on the back side. Ooh, that is awesome! Look at that. All right. So just going through the book a little bit. Look at that. You have classic Link giving the Master Sword to Breath of the Wild Link. That is pretty cool. And you have the lore of uh, ooh. This is, I remember seeing this in A Link to the Past. That is pretty neat. And of course they give you the introduction to Hyrule, the runes, the, uh, the amiibo. And I'm just gonna clip through this very quickly so you guys get an idea. They kind of tell you about the Master Sword, battle tips. So it looks like everything you need to know to start the game out. So pretty, pretty cool. You have the art of healing cooking. Po uh, tower power, a uh, treasure chest. Okay, and this is uh, this is actually where <laughs> Link uh, woke up from his uh, hundred year sleep. And this is the beginning. Get, it kind of gets you get you started. See how uh, how you can uh, learn the ropes of uh, playing the game, and you kind of get acquainted. The world is vast, and there's a, a bit of puzzles to go through. And it uses the stasis rune here. I remember that. That's very useful in a lot of situations. Uh, oh wow, this is the uh, the glider beyond the Great Plateau. Obviously, when you progress in the game, you get to see this various world. It's amazing what this game has to offer in terms of the environments here. And see, these are the uh, actual uh, enemies that you encounter throughout the game. The four tribes, obviously the, the species that inhabits, inhibits, uh, inhabits I should say, uh, the Hyrule uh, Kingdom. The Master Sword, the Divine Beast, one of the, uh, the three that you have to go through the champions of hyrule and that's really cool and actually they tell you that the there is an expansion pass that's coming along and as of this uh, recording nintendo is actually releasing one extra dlc so i'm looking forward to that to expand the a massive world array for the breath of the wild that has to offer so and that's it that's the end and this is a great artwork to end it off this is the european artwork of the uh, the game case if you guys are wondering we have this one for the us but this is the actual European, so nice to see that they, they showed it in this uh, Explorers uh, guide here. Alright, so this is a very really fantastic look of the uh, the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Explorers Edition along with the, I should say, I'll just put this on the side here, with the uh, Nintendo 2DS XL uh, bundle here. 
I'm making a mess out of myself, but this is the fun part of the unboxing. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, unboxing. Leave me down below in the comments what are your thoughts of the two items here. Are you interested in getting them? They're certainly a great deal and they should still be had to this day for the holiday season of 2017. So if you enjoyed, then you get, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to Nintendo K, that's always helpful. And I'll catch you again in the next episode.